What is going on everybody? Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video of Adam Finance. My name is Adam, your host, obviously. Today, we're going to be talking why joining industrial engineering and other engineering clubs is very important and very crucial to your success in the future. If you guys are interested in this topic, stay tuned. Like I mentioned in another video, your GPA, grade point average, isn't everything. However, if you have a low GPA, like below a 3.0, uh, like 2.2 to 2.7 range, you're gonna to wanna to have other activities to back up what you're doing. So let's say you have that low GPA, but you have like three or four internships. That's gonna look way more valuable than having that 4.0 GPA. Let's say you can't get those internships because your GPA is so low. You're gonna to wanna to be joining clubs or having specific projects. Let's say you can't get those internships because your GPA is so low. If your GPA is so low and you can't have those internships, you're gonna to wanna to ensure that you have some projects to put on that resume and some projects to bring up at the interview. But don't worry, if you don't have any ideas of what you wanna do for projects and for process improvement or product design, you're gonna to wanna to be joining a club. Having a club on your resume is gonna show that you're also involved with community outreach, you're gonna be a leader in a club and organization, and within that club, you're gonna be able to network with other people who might have other internship opportunities. Although I have a relatively high GPA and quite a few internships on my resume, I still took a leadership role in this club, IISE, Institute of Industrial Systems Engineers. Uh, basically, I took this position, I'm president of the club, as a, the administrative president of the club. I have an executive president, so we're co-presidents, but I'm the president of my section. Uh, basically, I took role, took leadership role in this club to show that I am a leader. I'm not just someone who has good grades. I'm not just someone who does internships. I want to be a leader in my community. I want to show outreach. I want to show that I'm dedicated to the topic. In this organization, we have about 180 members. So having that member database really shows that, okay, I'm able to handle certain tasks. I'm able to plan things to uh, a certain standard, able to order enough food, order, uh, basically just plan it all and be able to show that I have the ability to handle a lot of people in a small place. The reason I joined this club and took a leadership role position was that I know that having these big clubs on your resume really helps you stand out from other people. At, at our club, at ASU, the IISC team, we have a network outreach day where we have several weeks of industry professionals from like Boeing, uh, Northrop Grumman, Deloitte, uh, et, cetera, et cetera, coming in, Amazon, uh, they all come in, they'll speak to us and usually they'll offer you some kind of internship or some kind of apprenticeship position. Um, and obviously I saw that as a very good opportunity. Having those industry leaders come in and see that you are in a leadership position. We have about seven or eight leadership positions. Uh, we have like uh, finance manager, we've got like social media planning, event coordination. So we've got other people who are in leadership roles. I wanted to take the president role as I think it obviously shows a lot of responsibility. Those industry leaders come in and they see our organizational skills and how we're leading the group of all 180 plus members and they really see that, okay, we have what it takes to be a part of their company. And I know that many of my former students and the former president before me received a very, very prestigious internship because of this position. So I'm trying my hardest to work very hard for the club and also make new connections that I would not have had these opportunities to do. If you don't have the time to do a club, that's completely fine. Uh, I know this club right here, IISC at ASU is very time consuming. Every week we're planning it for the next week or for even a couple weeks. And it's a lot of, a lot of planning involved. So if you aren't really fit for that kind of role, you can always take a smaller role and even attend the meetings. If you attend the meetings, make sure to bring your resume, always have that with you, especially if you're coming to a network industry event. Uh, it's always good to hand out and just talk to the recruiters. Showing some kind of involvement just really makes you stand out from someone who has a bad GPA, who doesn't have internships, and doesn't have clubs. If you're one of those kind of people who doesn't have any of those three, it's gonna be very difficult for you to get an internship or even a job in the future. You're gonna be someone who graduates and then not even have a, a job, you're gonna have an internship as a postgraduate. So you really wanna have at least one of those three things. The more the better uh, to uh, just like lighten your profile up and make you stand out more. You shouldn't just join a club to try and get that internship. You shouldn't just do that. That's what I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. I know we have people on our board who have done that and who have needed to be removed from the board because they're not showing enough effort in the club. They're not planning, they're not doing what their job is designed to do. So 
you shouldn't join a club just because you want to get an internship. You should join a club because it's something that means something to you. Like industrial engineering means something to me. I want to become an industrial engineer. I want to try different companies, big, small. So having that plus the network industry to maybe get an internship is a win-win. If you guys enjoyed this topic, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below. Make sure to subscribe for more videos in the future. Let me know how I could do on these videos. Um, I love making them. They're very fun. I love uh, educating everyone who watches these videos. So any questions, drop them down below. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.